Welcome to our lesson about sheet metal gauge tables. A gauge table is a very helpful tool for reducing the number of errors in your work because gauge tables provide a limited number of options. They're usually provided by manufacturers and suppliers, and they do come in a variety of formats. SolidWorks itself comes with a few sample gauge tables. They're located in the SolidWorks directory, in the same place as the bend tables, basically, under Language, English, Sheet Metal Gauge Tables. Let's take a look at how gauge tables look inside. They are similar to bend tables. We've got some standard information parameters like table type, units, gauge number, thickness of the material. And then below we have a matrix of bend radius and bend angle. If your gauge table comes in an ASCII format, it's much easier to just put it in a spreadsheet and importing into a spreadsheet is very easy. Using a spreadsheet allows you to follow the comments that you see in the table. Now let's learn how to use a gauge table in SolidWorks. Let's right click on our Sheet Metal 1 feature, Edit Feature. Let's check Use Gauge Table. We'll browse for my table. Select Sheet Metal Gauge Tables. From the drop down menu, select the table you'd like to use. Under Sheet Metal Parameters, I'm going to use Gauge 5 which has got a one millimeter thickness. If we need to override the thickness of the gauge table and enter a different value manually, we would just check the override thickness box. We can choose from four different bend radii and we can also override these options as well by checking the override radius box. The bend allowance value was extracted from the gauge table. You may be wondering what to do if your gauge table comes in inches but you happen to be working in millimeters. Well, the good news is that SolidWorks will convert inches to millimeters automatically, so you've got nothing to worry about. At this point, I'm going to click OK, and this concludes our lesson on using gauge tables.